You might remember that one of my favorite smartphones last year was the LG G2, mainly because of all the features and its design. But what happens when you give me an LG G3 for a week and make me compare it to the iPhone 6? I'm Jaime Rivera. This is Pocket Now, and this is iPhone 6 versus LG G3. Both the iPhone 6 and the LG G3 have proven to be some of our favorite devices this year. One is the cream of the crop when it comes to design and comfort, and the other is one of the best powerhouses you can buy. About the only thing that's similar when it comes to the hardware is that both displays are made by LG, and boy, are these a sight to see. The LG G3 manages to fit a gorgeous 5.5 inch Quad HD display into some of the thinnest bezels in the market, while the iPhone 6 keeps it more conservative with a 4.7 inch display. Colors on both displays are amazing, the iPhone 6 being a tad brighter and easier to use in direct sunlight though. And even with the crazy 200 pixel per inch difference between these displays, stop looking for pixels on either because you won't find them. That said, both displays suffer from growing pains as applications that aren't optimized for either display resolution can look fuzzy on its respective platforms. Where things are most different is in their designs. Apple took a more elegant route with anodized aluminum, a thin profile, and gentle curves, while LG is a more substantial phone with faux metal finish and a plastic chassis. The G3 is 8mm taller, 7.6mm wider, 2mm thicker, and 20 grams heavier than the iPhone 6, though it's not like if LG cares about not being thin and light. The G3 was designed to be the best flagship you can buy, and its lack of compromise with things like a replaceable 3000 mAh battery and 32 gigs of storage with microSD expansion make the iPhone 6 look bad when it comes to specs, at least the ones that actually matter. The iPhone 6 is no slouch when it comes to the spec sheet for the average user, but the G3 was made with more of a demanding user in mind. Where the iPhone 6 excels is in its feel and hand, but uh, this is not a beauty contest. And both devices have a futuristic design here. The differences continue in the software, though not at a very huge degree. Last year's LG proprietary Android skin was the worst thing that I had ever seen, but this year everything has changed for the better. What's funny though is that the deeper that you look within, the more you notice that the UI resembles iOS 8 with its colored bars at the top and the level of minimalism in the icons. This is actually a good thing since it makes the experience of using an elegant smartphone design only better on both devices. iOS 8 is definitely the dullest UI for those searching for customization, and in that degree, LG's UI is probably the most customizable experience I know. From additional buttons at the bottom for notification tray and multi-window support, to an insane amount of options in just about every LG application bundled, most of these options just feel like gimmicks for some, but for other people these might be useful. Where iOS 8 handles things better is in sheer performance, which is odd compared to such a powerful G3. It's not as customizable as LG's UI, but what it can do, it can always do perfectly. You'll notice that the LG UI constantly redraws widgets on the display, something which is rather annoying at times, and where iOS flows without stutter every single time. You can fix these things on the G3 with third-party launchers, though, and just keep in mind that options aren't the best deal, though, again, the LG G3 UI is cool, so you might want to put up with it. Speaking of performance, handling these two devices side by side is a true pleasure. If you ignore the spec sheet and choose the most graphic intensive game that you have, there is no way that you can go wrong with either of these devices. The iPhone 6's A8 chip handles everything you throw at it with ease and the Snapdragon 801 does the same for the LG G3. Obviously the experience consuming media is better on a bigger display, but that doesn't mean that the iPhone's display is small. Where I'm surprised to not be impressed with the LG G3 is with the camera. I praised the G2 heavily last year because of its photos, but oddly the G3 isn't as good. You will notice some extra pop in daylight photos when compared to the iPhone 6 where colors are a tad more accurate. The laser focus on the G3 makes taking photos just as fast as with the focus pixels on the iPhone 6, which is great. Sadly, when you compare these at night, you'll notice that the odd reddish tint on the LG G3 using HDR is not normal when compared to the iPhone, and keep in mind the G3 does have optical image stabilization. 
Call quality was good on both devices, though oddly people did complain about some odd muffling on the G3 every now and then, and where no complaints were given about the iPhone 6. The one watch speaker on the G3 is significantly better than last year's, though the iPhone 6 is still louder at the bottom. Battery life is where the G3 beats the pants off the iPhone 6. The iPhone 6 will get you through the day just fine, but if you want more than a day, the G3 is your device to go. This is probably one of the toughest comparisons that I've had to make. On one hand, the iPhone 6 is one of the most elegant smartphone experiences I've ever had, and the LG G3 is clearly one of the most powerful smartphones of the year. Depending on your specific needs, you really can't go wrong with either device. I've decided to be smart about this. I'm forced to carry two phones anyway, so why choose? Say hello to my two new daily drivers. That's it for a comparison of the iPhone 6 versus LG G3. Make sure you leave us a comment down below with your impressions and also follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you on the next video.